Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are going to be unboxing and trying on the December 2023 Ice Cream Beauty Box. And this is a monthly subscription that is $25 a month. And that's, that's all you pay. There is no shipping on this one. And you get about five around five beauty items all in all from indie brands and you always get an eyeshadow palette every time every month so uh if you're interested in seeing what i got this month you might be interested in picking it up yourself and i'm going to do a try on with all the items and well we'll see what items we got before i make that promise okay so if you want to see all of that, then hang tight because I'm getting right on into it. Okay, if you are ever interested in getting this box or the bag, anything from Ice Cream Beauty, I will leave a link down in the description box. And if you want to order anything or do a subscription or something like that, and it's your first time, use my code Jennifer10 at checkout to get yourself some money off your order. Okay, here we go. Here it's the box, and they have these little um, peanuts that you can um, put in the water, and they will dissolve. So we have those. Okay, don't want to throw away my products. Oh, I see something. Okay, I did see spoilers. I just forgot what they were. Okay. All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six items. Five items if you count this two are basically the same thing, but there are two of them. These are from B Bella. They are the Lit Perfection pencils. One is in the shade unforgettable and one is in the shade coral that's what i said <laughs> i'm not gonna make any promises about trying on everything i'm not a big fan of the b bella lip pencils and um i don't want to open them and use them because i i'm not big on lip pencils in general and i really don't like the um be Bella ones in particular but this is what they look like right there like I said one is in the color like a red color it is in coral I guess like a reddish orange color maybe and then one is more pink it is in the color unforgettable so they're nice I didn't, I'll pass those on to somebody who probably likes them better okay then we have a liquid color a liquid eyeliner oh great I've been getting a lot of liquid eyeliners lately let me get my scissors and oh it does come with a card let me read to you about everything this is the card it is happy holidays for december let's see what that says about the lip liner duo by b bella that is six dollars i don't i don't know if that's for the two of them i'm gonna guess it's for the two of them because i know b bella is really really um affordable brand so i would say they were about three dollars each so it says Liquid lipsticks can get a little bit messy and hard to apply precisely. That's why we are giving you two lip liners to go with the lipstick set, which I will get to. This will help you get a clean and even application or even get the red, get the plump lip look by overlining, which <sighs> looks good on some people, but when I overline, it makes me look like I've been playing in my mother's makeup a little too hard. Okay, so this is the uh, mm, Cream White Liquid Liner by ZC Cosmetics. This is $24. Wow. Back by popular demand, this time in white. You guys love the formula of this last month, so we were extra excited. Okay. Yeah, it was like in red that we got it. So... Extra excited to find that we had the opportunity to bring this eyeliner formula back. The white is perfect for this holiday season. Create a fun look or just use it to open slash brighten up your eye look. A white eyeliner is very popular around the holiday season. Is it now? 
let us get this open. I, I probably had this much trouble last time as well. And uh, let's see what we got. Okay. It is a very, very nice little package here. And just looking to see what it says on the package. Most of it is in a language I do not read. Okay. Oh, yeah. It was also plastic. Is it? Yeah, it's also wrapped in plastic. Let's see if I can get this off easily. Okay. No, it just has a plastic. It just has, just has a little sticker on it. Okay. There it is right there. I, I, I'm glad I have a white eyeliner back because then I can do some detail work around on my face and on my eyes because all I have right now is this ColourPop gel liner which isn't that great to use. I had a Sephora one of these but it dried out. So yeah I am glad to have a liquid a, a white liquid eyeliner but wow $24 glad we're getting it in the box. Okay let's see what something else from ZC. Okay what is this? It is the Angel Highlighter by ZC Cosmetics with the British Museum. This comes in at $26. Is this, uh, this says this highlighter is available in two different finishes. It delivers a stunning soft focus glow to your skin. It's formulated with ultra fine shimmer particles to create a glowing luminous complexion. Long lasting and blendable. It gives you the perfect Effortless highlight. Okay, well, we will see about that. So it is the angel. It's got a little angel on it. Oh, isn't that sweet? Okay. I'm guessing that's something from the British Museum. Okay. I can't get to you. <laughs> okay, these color shavers kill me sometimes. That is what it looks like right there. It's got an embossing of an angel in it. Can you see that? Okay. Very nice color. I like that color. A very nice light color. I wonder what the other shade is. Okay, let me get my swatch and arm out. And can you see that? I've got it right there. All right, that is that. That is the Angel Highlight Pressed Powder. That's what it says. The Angel Highlighter. Let me put this here because I don't want to end up putting it somewhere that I'm going to not be able to find. I did that with one box. I started putting it away. started putting this stuff away into my drawers and stuff. And I'm like, well, I want to use that. Why did I put it away? Okay, that is a very nice box, too. I like that box. Okay, the next thing is four little mini lipsticks. And I guess they're liquid lips. They're from Ofra, nonetheless. And it is the Gone M.I.A. mini lip set. What is this? It is $20.00. The mini lip set by Ofra Cosmetics. Why pick one color when you can have four? This mini lip set is the perfect set for the holidays. It has nudes, pinks, and reds. You can also just slip them in your purse or clutch and take them to go without taking up too much space. Okay, let us get to swatching all of these. Okay, let's start with this red. This red is in Winwood. I don't have very many Ofra liquid lipsticks. And it says you, you should use lip liners with liquid lipsticks. I do have lip liners. I do. That was in Winwood. This one is in Aventura. The first one was like a cherry red. This one is a little darker. Right there. I am liking the cherry reds this time of year right now. And this next one is in Miami Fever. A little kind of a nude, well, a dark nude color. 
we've got that. These all these will all look dark on me. And then we have San Sanibel. Sanibel. And that's kind of a pinky nude. Again, it would look very dark on me. But that's that was the most pink looking one. So those are all the colors right there. And so that again was $20. And then we have our palette right here. Okay, and it is called Hearth by Chantico Beauty. And that is what it looks like on the outside. I'm guessing this is going to be kind of wintry or Christmassy. It's got some hot cocoa on the front, a nice fireplace, a nice hot nice hearth okay it does have a mirror and it does have some nice shades in it we are gonna make a look with this one let's see let's try is this a duochrome right here this is called luna let's swatch where the swatches are supposed to go that looks nice looks like it might need a base underneath it though that's luna Let's try this Epi Beery. Is that Spanish for something? I don't know. We oh, got that color there. I'm swatching all the shimmers. And then we got Oro, which is like a green or a, a yellow kind of color right there and then we have this amber color which is that oh yeah oh yes yes man this pan okay then it's got a white in here oh, i love that okay not a lot of light colors but it does have this kindling one right here kind of this mustard yellow color right here that's kindling and then what's this it's called ember that is sort of a satin is that a matte or is that a satin i don't know i think it's a matte i think it's just a matte that's satin and then earth let's try this there's two greens in here this earth color and then let's try this other one called Ortiz Ortizante or Horizonte Horizonte my my Spanish has gotten worse over the years I used to be able to I used to be able I used to be a good conversationalist in Spanish actually but if you don't use it you lose it okay so those are some of the colors in the hearth palette okay so we're going to make a look with that and we are going to use the Ofra liquid lipsticks. We're going to use the highlighter. And I will use a, a, a excuse me, I will use a lip liner. It's just probably not going to be one of those Be Bella ones. And okay, who's excited? I'm excited. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me get some primer on my face. And then we'll be back and start the eye look. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't tell y'all that the palette is worth $40. It says, attain a mesmerizing eye look with this 20, 20 I was going to say 22 shades. No, it's 12 shade eyeshadow palette. See, I like to leave my bloopers in my videos. The Hearth eyeshadow palette features rich, warm tones reminiscent of a cozy fireside experience with shades ranging from deep cocoa browns to fiery reds. It captures the essence of warmth and comfort, perfect for creating a wide variety of looks. I have never tried this brand before. Let me put the retail value of this box down below. Like I said, this costs $25. The only reason I don't like the Be Bella um, lip liners is because, number one, I don't use lip liners. I have a bunch that I use, but when I do use lip liners, I like them to be uh, gel cream 
cream base. I don't like pencil. I don't really like pencil um, lip liners. So that's the main reason that I'm going to pass those along. So you might like pencil eyeliners. Okay. So this might be more worth it to you. Okay. And I do pay for my box. I have the code. It's unaffiliated, the Jennifer Tan code. But I do pay for my boxes. And I don't get PR from this brand or anything like that. Okay, so we are going into that mustard yellow color. This is called Kindling. And we are going to put that in as a... Is my brush dirty again? I had this problem yesterday. Okay. Okay, so have you been doing Christmas looks at all? with your palette or winter looks at all. Oh yeah, I did, I forgot to mention in yesterday's video, how, you know, I for some of y'all who might not have seen my YouTube, my community post and wondering where I was last week, I was working, working, I was working. Yes, I was doing a lot of overtime. So I'm getting paid tomorrow in, or today. You're watching this on Tuesday. I'm getting paid and it's going to be a really nice check. So, which it needs to be because I've also been doing a lot of online shopping. So I need to pay for all of that. Getting some Christmas shopping done. Okay, that's a nice, nice color. We like that color. Okay, do I want to go into a red? Or do I want... The only really dark colors here... Is that red dark enough? I don't think it is. Okay, I, I'll try the red. But I'm going to put this orange color. Because I was like... I like the greens, but I've been playing with greens a lot lately. I want to play with these reds in here. If the red's not dark enough, then I'll use a green. Okay, this color is called Fire. Like by the fireplace. I want a fiery look. That's what I want. So I'm just putting this in the crease. Let me know if you're getting this box or you have gotten it. If you've played with this palette at all. What you think of this palette. What you think of the other items in it. If you're getting the bag, let me know. I should be getting the bag here in a couple of days. And I will do a video with that one as well. Oh, these colors are going together nicely. Now, tell me what. Okay, incoming rant, and I'm sorry for all of you that really love Glam Light. Okay, I'm going in with Ember, and I'm sure Glam Light works for a lot of people, but I have still yet, I, I bought that four... It was only $40, and it's four palettes of the Happy Hour palettes. With all the martinis and the daiquiris and the wine. And so far I've only, okay, so far I've only tried the chocolate martini palette. I will say that. I've only tried the one palette. But it is so muddy. I'm going to give it another chance tomorrow. But... It's just my experience with Clam Light. I still haven't found a palette from Clam Light that I absolutely love. I had I have the Scooby Doo palette, the Creeps and Crawls. Granted, I haven't tried a lot of Glam Light. And I had the Michaela Ten Pan palette. But I didn't like either. I'm keeping the Scooby Doo because I like Scooby Doo, but I'm giving away the Michaela palette. But I mean if I could get if I could get it to, 
to look even half as good as this. But some palettes just weren't meant for me. Or some brands just weren't meant for me. Okay, I do wish this red was a little bit more fire. This ember. Um, yeah, the ember color. Was a little bit more on the fiery side. It, it, it kind of fizzled out a little bit. But, I don't know. I think it's looking okay. Alright. Okay, let's talk shimmers. Okay, I'm going to go into amber next. Not ember, but amber. <laughs> okay, and yeah, that one, that color was definitely fire. Okay, we got that on the brush. And we're going to put this on the back. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I think I'm going to put it, look at this, this looks gorgeous. I'm going to put it on my whole lid, and then I'm going to put this color Luna, like probably in the middle of the eye at this time. I'm going to actually do something different. Oh my gosh. Okay, then I'm going to take this Luna color, this, okay, pick up on a brush, please. Please. Okay, I'm going to spray it. And I'm going to put it in the center of the eye. Okay, show up. Please, 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 please. Let me try finger. Okay, I think that's going to work better. I've been having so much success with a brush lately, though. I think, I think that Luna color just got everywhere. So, especially on this eye, it just went everywhere. And, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing either. Okay. I just took this brush and was putting some more matte on. And it just smushed it everywhere. So, okay, here's what we've got going on. And, uh, yeah. I think we brought the fire for sure. Let me know what you're thinking down below. Okay, you know what? Don't get mad at me, but I think y'all all know what a white liquid liner looks like. So, I think I'm going to skip the white liner because I don't want to... I don't want to mess up this lovely look, even though I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to put on my Wicked Widow eyeliner. The thing is, I am doing this look for an Instagram look as well. So I do have... I do have a plan for this look, so I can't just be messing around too much with it for my advent calendar of looks this is going to be day number 12 for the 12th day of December okay I'm gonna clean this look up and then I will put on some mascara and I'm going to go ahead and put on my um, foundation, my bronzer, my blush. And then we'll come back and do highlighter. We'll do underneath the eyes and then we'll pick up. Did I? I thought I dug my finger down into it. And underneath the eyes. And yeah, we'll, we'll see about putting that white in, in a corner. I'll see what that looks like. Okay, for white hot right <laughs> okay i'm just being extra okay i'll be right back okay here we go with the look so far for uh what did i use first i used a mascara for mascara i've got the hero duo right here it is the pat mcgrath dark star and the urban decay perversion mascaras that is what i'm loving right now and then i used my sephora best skin ever which is my favorite is definitely my favorite um, foundation right now i'm using 11.5 p 
And yeah, I'm going through that really fast. And then for a bronzer, I am using this Glowish by Huda Beauty in the shade 01 Light. I, I don't know if I've featured this on my channel yet, but I've been using it. And mostly for work and stuff like that. This is a nice bronzer. It is very, very light though. And, but if you're looking for something really light, um, I got this on sale at the, when they were doing the 80% off sale. I got it for a really good price. And I don't know if, um, you'll like Huda Beauty. I really, um, think this is a great bronzer, but, I would wait until their next sale. There they have their sale. And this, this is really good. Their blush, their cheeky vegan blush powder, blush powder. This is in Berry Juicy. It's 03 Berry Juicy. This is really good. Almost up there with my Gucci blush. Almost. It looks really good on the cheeks. I didn't use this today, but I just wanted to tell you all about it. If you can ever catch that on a sale, I really recommend that. But the blush I used today was my Bare Minerals Bronzer. It is the Gen Nude Bronzer in Kiss of Mauve. This is not the one I meant to use. I meant to use Kiss of Rose, but that's not the one I pulled out. It still looks good, though. I like that. Okay, let's go. You'd, you'd think mauve, mauve would have a cool look to it, but this looks really kind of warm color. I I thought it was Kiss of Rose. Okay, it still looks good. Okay, now, okay. And then eyebrows with NYX and Benefit products. Okay, we are going to try this. I'm sorry, I'm just a little, I'm just a little confused. <laughs> because this looks a lot like my Kiss of Rose. Okay, okay. Okay, all right, the Angel Highlighter. Oh, very nice. Anything too special about this? Not really. But if you want this kind of highlighter, it is very pretty looking. Does it have... Does it have glitters in it? Let me look. Let me look because isn't that what it said on the on the thing? Um, and luminous complexion, long lasting, and blend will give you the perfect effortless highlight. No, it just it says shimmer particles. Yeah, it does. Let me look at this closer because sometimes I can't tell from this distance I have to look really close and sometimes you can't tell unless you go out into the bright lights okay what has a mirror everything has I don't ever pull these things off of the mirrors the angel highlighter actually has a mirror hmm. no I don't see any glitters in it so that's that could be good that could be something that you might appreciate not having any glitters in it. What highlighter did have glitters in it? It was, uh, I also got this for free from the Huda Beauty. I don't know why I'm talking about Huda Beauty so much. They're not having their sale anymore. But this um, highlighter with the little, the little rose in it, that, I got that for free. It was like a free gift with purchase. Anyway, okay, um, this is, this is my scatterbrained time of the evening. Okay, I'm going to blend that in a little bit. You know what, I'm going to put some of that highlight in my brow bone too. I've been starting to do that again. I knew I was going to come back to doing this. I stopped for a little while, but now I'm back, baby. Okay, so that's that. Okay, let's finish the eyes first before, or don't want to do, let's do lips first. Okay, what was I going to use? Which color was I going to use? Let me think about this. Okay, I think I want to use this Miami Fever one. So let me see if I have a, 
lip liner that okay i pulled up the b bella one the one i have the one i own okay i have a couple of b bella ones okay let's just use this color pop one it's just a bare bones color pop one it's just a neutral color right there okay now let's try this miami fever color Yeah, I think that goes with the look. These go on really nicely. I think I only have like one Ofra liquid lipstick. I, I hate the really liquidy ones that are so messy. That's nice. Oh, I'll let that dry down. Let's work on the under eye area, the lower lash area. Okay, let's go back into that kindling shade and run it under in the lower lash line. And I'm gonna buff that out. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into fire and just outline. I'm just doing my normal stuff that I always do if you're, if you're not new here. If you're new here, this is, this eye look is more or less what I always, kind of what I usually do. And now I'm going to go back in to that ember color. And bring it down some. And then go, well, you know what? I'm just, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to bring it up and add any more to the eye, the upper eye look. I'm just going to bring this about halfway down, blend it out a little bit, like that. That's what it looks like. Okay. And this, this, most of these colors are mid-tone colors. This is the only really deep color there is. And this is the only kind of light color they have. Light, but not really that light. But let me, okay, where is the, okay. I have to empty my makeup bag every night because I do take it to, it to work. So every morning I put makeup in it and every night I take it out. And this eyeliner that is down to the nub just about is like I use it all the time for my waterline. It's this is the NYX Epic Wear, just uh, it's just the black color, okay. And then I'm going in with the bad gal bang for my lower lashes. There's still some in here. There's still some in here. I thought I had used it up, but it's still going strong. All right, looking good. You know, this liquid lipstick feels really nice. I was thinking I was gonna have to put some um, gloss on it or something, but you know, I'm thinking I might not be that adverse to, um, to matte lips after using that, um, first I used that NYX matte lipstick or whatever it's called, Smooth Whip. It's called a cream, I think. And now using this, it doesn't dry down completely like you would think it would being a liquid lipstick, but it feels nice. I always think of matte, when I think of matte, liquid lips I think something that just really dries out your lips but this is comfortable okay now I'm going into marshmallow now you're probably asking what you want to put matte white in your lip but you wouldn't use the, the white eyeliner on your eye that's right because this white eyeliners like this and the cream ones as well they're not usually that opaque so I didn't want to like keep putting it on my eye <laughs> And even this, I don't know if this is going to be that opaque. So we're going to try it out 
And if I'm going to use white, I would rather put it in my inner corner than use it as a highlight. I mean, use it as an eyeliner. So, yeah, this isn't that opaque. But it'll work. It can be built up. It's easier to build up than an eyeliner would be. Plus, I just like the look of a white, a matte white in a corner than I do a white eyeliner. Okay, and here is the final look using most of the items that I got in my ice cream beauty box. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And like I said, if you are interested in picking up this box for this month, I did get my box early, so I'm really happy about that. And yeah, yeah, just um, go to the link down in my description box. Sign up for a subscription and try it out. Use my code at checkout. It is Jennifer10. Like I said, I'm not affiliate. I don't make any money off this code or anything like that. It's just for you guys to use. And, you know, oh, you know what I did? I just started with the bag because I didn't really want to commit to doing the box at first because I thought it was a lot of stuff. And I did the bag for like a year or so before I even started getting the box. So, I mean, the bag, you get like three, four items and it was really nice. That kind of stuff is like $12.50 plus I, I pay $4 of shipping and I think that's like the best bargain subscription out there, really. They're all full, full size items. Okay, anyway, let me know what you think down in the down in the comments. Not the description box, the comments down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends if you think they would enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching. Whether you are a subscriber, whether you are a casual viewer, or whether this is your very first time watching one of my videos. If it is, thank you again. And if you like this video and you want to see some more videos, then please kindly consider subscribing, hitting that notification button. Bell? Is it bell still? Okay, so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video. So, I hope y'all are all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing day out there today. But if you are having an especially hard time, know that I am thinking about you. I'm sending you all of those good vibes. Just remember to stay strong, stay healthy, and stay safe out there. Especially the time of year. Oh my gosh, there are so many crazy people out there. Mm. Stay safe out there, okay guys? Alright, I will see you in another video soon. Just stay well until then. Goodbye.